Yeah, I am at work. I am at work right now, bro. And I'm thinking about quitting this motherfucker already. Can't talk too loud because I ain't trying to get caught. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm, I'm low key finna quit this bitch, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man, this shit dead, bro. This shit is dead. It's dead. What's up, YouTube? Oh, shit. What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Tyshawn, back for another video, man. Uh, it's cold. I need to put, put, turn the heat on real quick. Come on, fuck it. Um, yeah, man, back for another video and shit, right? It's uh, dark outside. It's 11 o'clock and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I just got done with my first day of work. <laughs> just got done with my first day of work and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a goddamn DSP and shit like that. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all about my first day and shit. So, number one, um, I work second shift. Second shift is from, well, my shift is from 3.30 to 11 30 right now you know it's like 11 35 type shit and uh yeah so shit like that right and i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you about my day so walked in there whatever like that the um supervisor or whatever introduced me to my co-worker and i ain't gonna say her name but you know she, you know she's a black lady and shit and she pretty much was just showing me the ropes and shit like that and you know, you know, the a job's pretty easy, bro. Like the job doesn't seem hard. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be like a difficult task or whatever. But the only but oh god damn the light just had to turn fucking red. <laughs> you know, job doesn't seem like a hard task or no shit like that. It's it's pretty easy. It's just the the cons is who oh shit chills. The cons is it's boring as hell. And you uh, gotta be on your feet for the most part of the day. You know what I'm saying? Something that something that I hate about jobs is like even even when you have nothing to do, you gotta try to make it look like you're doing something. So the goddamn supervisor doesn't doesn't say, hey, you know, you know, hey, what are you doing or some shit. So sometimes you gotta goddamn you, you gotta goddamn act like you're doing some shit. <laughs> it's like man, but I mean. Like, okay, remind you, the goddamn supervisor only, you know, only checked on this twice. Because, remind you, second, so, you know, because, because supervisor leaves, like, halfway, halfway into the shift. Like, you know, she, she doesn't stay the whole entire time. You know what I'm saying? So, 3.30 to 11, she might stay to, like, 5 or some shit. I mean, we yeah, like, 5. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Like five or six and, and then she's gone Shit like that So She doesn't stay the whole time But uh, Yeah man you know so you know job You know a little job and shit you know what I'm saying We got them um, You know we gotta like We gotta We have to make the clients food and shit And you know and uh I have flat out said I said hey listen I don't know how to cook so if you guys are gonna have me cook i can't cook for nothing they, and, and they said oh no it's fine it's fine you know um you know you know uh for the most part only thing we do is is like is like get some processed food and throw it and throw it inside the oven or throw it inside the microwave and, and that's pretty much it kind of similar to my last job you know the last job i had you know we uh, we um we had to make we had to make some of the clients food and shit. But all we had to do was just put it in the microwave. That's all we had to do is put shit in the microwave and shit. So that was pretty easy. You, you know what I'm saying? That's fine and shit, right? That's pretty fine. That ain't bad. And then I, and then after they get to eating, you, you know, you you know, you, you gotta you, you gotta wash their dishes and shit. And and I believe it's like um eleven people there. So I mean the job's easy. It's not really hard. It's pretty easy. It's just the, like the only cons to the fucking job is the fact that 
every, most jobs have this fucking policy. No phone policy and shit. But really, let's keep it real. All of us still get on our fucking phones. But as far as, as for me, um, I didn't I didn't get on my phone too much because I was trying to get caught. Now I remind you, the goddamn the guy uh, the uh, supervisor already left like a long time ago. But you know, I just had like a certain fear of like getting caught. Even though she was gone, you know, I just I, I just didn't want to get caught doing some shit that I shouldn't be doing on my first day when they already said, hey, no phones and shit. So I said, all right, fuck it. So, but, you know, you know, if every now and then, I ain't going to, but still, every now and then, you know, you know, uh, I got down, check my shit. But, you know, I made sure for the most part to, like, not be on it like that. But, yeah, man, so you got that. So, uh, uh, uh. For the cons, no fucking phones. It's boring as hell. And then the fact that I have a co-worker is a con as well. Because even though she's nice, mind you, you know, she's a she's she's a black lady and shit. And she was nice, bro. You know, I ain't gonna say she was a problem. She was nice, but she's a person that kind of talks too much. And I'm a person I'm a, like remind you, this lady does not talk damn does not talk damn near as much as my last fucking supervisor and you know and all of us know his name i mean well i ain't say his name but that motherfucker talks so fucking much it will make you want to commit suicide for how much he talk but 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 she 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 doesn't talk as much as him but but like she she still talks too much and you know you know, I don't know, man. It just kind of drains me for a person to talk too much. Like, you know, I get drained if a person just talks too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she talked like, okay, like she she talks a lot, but like, you know, she doesn't she doesn't talk like a whole super lot, but you know, it's it, it's it's still a lot and, you know, I get kind of drained talking to somebody, you know, you know, for like a long period of time like that. So, you know, I get drained and shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know, man, you know what I mean? So you got that. Um, What else is a con, man? I don't know. The fucking shift, the fucking shift hours is a con. Man, I ain't trying to be going to work at 3.30 and then getting off at damn near 12 fucking o'clock, man. 11.30, that's bullshit. My whole fucking day is gone. Whole fucking day is gone, okay? Whole day is gone, okay? I would prefer to go to work from 9 to 5, literally. 9 to 5. Because uh, because going to work at 9, uh, you know, that's not too early. And and uh, and getting off at 5 isn't too late, okay? That's, the, that's honestly the perfect work hours for me personally perfect work hours because you know being at work at nine is cool is, is good and then getting off at five is good whereas you know uh where this job i had where i had to be at work at six and i had got off at 2 30 that's some bullshit now now yes yes the good thing was was the fact that i was the fact that i got off at 2 30 but waking up at like 5 a.m. and then clocking in at 6 is some bullshit. That's some bullshit, right? That's some horse shit. So, 9 to 5 is perfect because 9 o'clock, you know, at least, at least, at least for me personally, that's not too, that's not too early. So, like, I can easily get up and, you know, go to work, make it on time, get off at 5 and be cool. You know what I'm saying? Perfect, perfect hours for me. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. I ain't trying to goddamn work it from 3.30 to fucking 11. I mean, 11.30. That's some horse shit. Fuck that. That's some bull. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay. Bullshit, dude. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, but you got... I mean, so the job's all right, I guess. I mean, you know, based on the earlier clip... <laughs> based on the earlier clip, you know... That, that you guys seen, you know what I'm saying? I said I said I'm finna quit. You know, yeah, probably so. Because the fucking hours just drag, dude. Like the hours fucking drag, bro. Like god damn. It drags, dude. I hate I hate going to work and the fucking hours just drag, bro. I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
And like I said, you guys already know what the goal is, bro. Work for my fucking self. Be an entrepreneur. Not have to clock in and, and, and fucking follow somebody else's orders and be told what to do and all that shit. That, you know, fuck that, okay? Fuck that. Another thing that I was told, right? The goddamn lady I work with, she's black. She said, hey, um, most of the workers here are black. You know, like... Like and it, it, like most of like most of the most of the employees are black, and and you know she said she said yeah and basically you know uh, basically what I got from it was most of the employees are black, but most of the higher ups are white. So basically most of the workers are black, but most of the motherfuckers that got in there and run the show are white. I'm like man get the fuck out of here, you know goddamn you know. Another case of the goddamn black person goddamn underneath the white person. And that's not me being racist. Not me saying that, you know, that's, that's, that's not me saying that, uh, that I have a problem with white people or, you know, or I'm racist or shit like that. I'm just saying why, you know, black people have always been under white motherfuckers for fucking centuries. God damn it. Why the fuck can't we run some shit? That's basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, why the fuck do we always gotta goddamn be under a white goddamn motherfucker? Okay, and that's not me being racist when I say that. It's just what it is. And I'm like, man, come on, man. So basically, almost all the workers are black, but but the people that run the show is white, right? Cool. All right. Well, of course, of course. Like how it's been for the past five five hundred goddamn years. Of course, like always. That's nothing new. Okay. Bullshit. Fuck that. I ain't trying to be under nobody. Okay? And remind you, even if my boss was black, I ain't trying to be under no black boss either. I ain't trying to be under anybody. But, you know, but when it when it comes to a white person, it's just the fact that black people have always been underneath a white motherfucker. And that shit kind of that, that shit kind of hits different than having a black boss. But even still, even if my boss is black, you know what I'm saying? Even if I, even if my boss's name was Tyrone, I would still say, man, fuck this job shit. I don't give a fuck about a job, bro. I'm just doing this shit because I have to do it, okay? Fuck this job shit. I don't give a fuck about this goddamn job, bro. I'm tired of this job shit. You know what I'm saying? Going to work, making scraps off the fucking plate. You know what I'm saying? Because the last job I had, I was making like, okay, the last job I had that I actually quit. I was making fourteen dollars an hour, and this job I'm making twelve. But the job before the last, I was making eleven seventy-five. So I'm pretty much making twenty-five cent above the goddamn job I had two jobs ago. But that ain't shit, because as you guys know that I was talking about before, how you know how so many times I had like I had kept on complaining like, man, jobs don't pay you enough money. 25 cent a 25 cent raise ain't shit so this this job is pretty much the same goddamn job as the last one where i'm a goddamn barely be getting by barely scraping through so fuck that man uh another thing is i'm in the process i'm in the process of trying to get a state job i'm in the process of trying to get a state job and shit a job that pays me fucking 20 25 dollars an hour because that is some shit where i can live off of comfortable that is a wage where i can live comfortable okay all this 10 11 12 ain't gonna do shit for me shit it's not gonna do shit for your boy okay it ain't gonna do shit right 10 11 12 13 ain't shit I can't live off of that bull. I mean, I mean, I can, but barely live off of that shit. Barely survive off of that. Barely survive off of that shit. Barely fucking thrive off of that shit. Fuck that shit. So I'm in the process of trying to of getting a state job because making twenty twenty five dollars an hour, I can live comfortable off of that. Live comfortable. At least you know. Um. At least. If if I still live in the Midwest, you know, um, I'll be comfortable off of that shit. Because, man, all this, like I said, man, this little 10 12 $13 ain't, ain't worth a can of shit. Fuck that. It ain't going to work. It's not going to work, okay? It's not. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work. So, 
you know, that's what I'm doing right now, man. Definitely going to quit this job pretty soon. <laughs> I'm always quitting the job, dude, because it's just what it is. It's just, it's just, you know, I just can't stand the job, bro. Just can't stand working for somebody else, dude. Just can't do it, man. Fuck this shit, bro. I'm tired of this bullshit. But anyways, man, you know, I'm going to go inside, go to bed and shit. You feel me? Well, well, I ain't, I ain't going to go to bed just yet. But you know, I'm probably like watch you know watch some anime, watch some Dragon Ball Z, do some little, do some little other shit real quick, and then and then get the fuck the sleep type shit. But thank thanks for watching. I'm I'm out of here. Peace out, cuz.